A Ghost Story was directed by David Lowry and stars Casey Affleck and Rooney Mara and is the very offbeat and unconventional tale of a husband who dies and wakes up in the hospital looking like a child's Halloween costume version of a ghost. And we follow him on an existential journey through his past, his future, and we watch him try to find something he's searching for. On paper, this thing sounds really cheesy and it could have turned out really bad. Gratefully, David Lowry's script and his direction is pretty airtight. This film is so emotionally impactful. I sat during the credits for about four minutes in complete silence without saying anything. The ending of the film and the journey that led to the end hit me so much in my gut that I was pretty much leveled by this movie emotionally. It's one of the saddest movies I have ever seen in my life. It explores death, time, what exactly the meaning of life is, is there a meaning to life? What someone goes through after death, the pain that someone deals with when it comes to loss. All of these things are explored almost entirely through imagery. There is very sparse dialogue in this film. There's a lot of visual storytelling and David Lowry really succeeds with that. There's even a few uses of subtitles that surprise me quite a bit. As I describe this movie to you, it sounds more and more absurd with everything I say. But that certainly had something to do with the fact that I liked it so much. It was very different and highly original. It also plays with horror movie tropes. Lights coming on, books being knocked out of bookshelves, weird sounds in the night. Why do those sounds and those things happen? Is it because some demonic presence is in our house trying to mess with us? Or could there be a more deeper meaning behind that? Could it be more than just bump in the night thrills? This movie's gorgeous. The visuals are incredible. The cinematography was absolutely mesmerizing. It's shot in 4x3 with rounded edges, something like I'm doing right now, just because I like this movie so much and I wanted to tribute it. And the visual look certainly had something to do with the way the film impacted me because it felt very old school. There was something about it that felt almost like I was watching someone's home movie, which may have been his, his goal, I don't know, but it, it felt like I was watching just something found, like it wasn't supposed to be playing on the theater screen. There was something really audacious about it that leapt off the screen and just, it just hit me, man. It really, really, really got me. This movie just left me really happy, actually. It's a very sad film, but I've said this before, I can watch like a really, really fucked up, disturbing movie with a lot of violence and, and horrific, sad things and dramatic power and not be depressed because it's so good. Like if I see a film that's made this well, even if it makes you feel like you're just a cretin, which this movie kind of does, it makes you feel like you're nothing. I just left the theater so energized because I had witnessed a filmmaker who, who had a message, who had a vision, and was able to share it so well. And, and it didn't seem pretentious either. That was something I was concerned about. There, there are movies like this that try to have messages, that try to say things, and quite often I'll leave the theater thinking, well, that was just nothing, a bunch of pretty scenes with really nothing going on. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to feel that way about a ghost story. Anyone who goes to this movie thinking it's Paranormal Activity Part 22 is going to be really disappointed. This is not a ghost movie in your stereotypical Hollywood sense. It's an emotional journey, and it's one that left a bruise in the best way. I adored this film, and I have only one issue with it. There's a scene that stuck out like a sore thumb that has a lot of great dialogue, but it felt like it was the film telling me what it was about. And I was already keyed into the director and what he was trying to do. I didn't really need to have a character explain it to me. It felt too much like talking down to the audience and it just felt out of left field. Besides that one scene, the way this film builds from beginning to end is remarkable. It's, as I said, a beautiful film and I don't think you should miss it. I'm gonna give a ghost story an A. Guys, thank you very much as always for watching. Look forward to the start of my Stephen King series this Sunday with a hilariosity. I want to start my Stephen King series off with a hilariosity. And I'm excited to do it. Oh my gosh, this movie I'm going to talk about honestly changed my life. It honestly, it, it was like the Room Troll 2 level changed my life. I am so excited to talk about it. Guys, thank you very much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.